Welcome back to Post and Pilots. Let's play some more European Dallas 4. We are playing the Isles. We are going for an air turmoil where we have to uh, own 20 non island provinces. So, none of the ones we have right now count uh, by 1500, that is in 23 years. Yep. Yep, we have none. Zero of those. Zero. Now, it was always clear that we would probably assemble them in the last part of the campaign, well, shortly before 1500, because we had to break free from the Scots, get a power base and all that. We've done that in a way. We have most um, of whiskey country under our control. I mean, uh, I mean, I guess there's a bit of space side in me. Ah, I don't know. I mean, space side is uh, where there's a lot of distilleries are. Um, it's between Inverness and Aberdeen somewhere, but I don't, somewhere near. Either way, we have the Isles, which is important. <laughs> Right. Um, other than whiskey, uh, we need African soil. That was the plan this time. And the issue with that is that the Africans have unfortunately coalesced quite well. Um, Morocco did get beaten a bit by the Portuguese, which might help us out. But Tunis is big and Tunis has allied Granada, which makes my idea of punching Granada as a staging ground um, a lot more difficult, let's say. Uh, we're close to grabbing our third idea in exploration, which should give us, at least together with a colonial range advisor, um, enough coring range to deal, or to land down here, and actually take land down there, but I don't know who we can attack just yet, and that's a problem. But first, um, let's uh, deal with the Scottish Separatists we have coming up in a few years in Aberdeen. That's why our army is straight on Aberdeen. We may have to deal with the Gallics, but I'm hoping that we don't. Uh, I don't love that we drop below 50 power protection. Unfortunately, I don't have any rivals, so I can't really do anything about it at all. Uh, we did just complete Trustworthy Allies, and I'm going to pop it. Not that it does anything for us. Diplo Rep is... doesn't do taunts for us. But uh, at least it allowed us to clear that thing, just in case we want to go down here. It doesn't seem highly likely that we need to. Now these missions are super relevant. We could always take high income, but uh, we don't construct. We don't have that kind of time or money. So, no. I'm going to stop proving with the monster then. And I'm considering potentially improving with Portugal. Reasoning being that I might want fleet basing rights. And that requires much more opinion or other modifiers, but opinion would be the easiest one to get. Um, I think we have it, the ability to get it from steel, so that's already good. My thinking is that I will need to somehow declare on probably Morocco. And there is a world in which I can't afford to have... Well, I'm pretty sure I can't afford to have a giant transport fleet. We have no money. Honestly, I should probably get rid of the Fort in Dumfries, shouldn't I? Should have probably done that ages ago. I'm gonna drop it. It's risky because it takes away all my defense against the English, but I really, at this point in time, I'm feeling that the English are not, I mean, if they're attacking me, then I'm doomed anyway. I don't have the time to deal with an English war. So yeah, I'm gonna drop the fort. Again, I should have done that earlier, saved a bunch of money. But this way, maybe uh, we can get that extra tiny bit. So plan is, or potential plan, would be to um, have a f small fleet here, declare war, and then immediately use my fleet basing rights and military access to land in Portugal to protect my troops from what's probably a relatively scary Moroccan navy. They have 15 ships, so they would crush whatever I have if I don't flee immediately. I'm just thinking how I get my army down there without building a giant fleet of transports. 
And if I were to build up to like 12 transports, that means I need to build another nine of them. That's uh, over 100 ducats. Where would I be taking those? I mean, yes, we can take a loan or debase currency. And maybe debasing currency is actually not all that bad. If we're saying we're done spending monarch points. Because the biggest issue with uh, corruption is the increase in monarch point costs, right? All power costs plus 1%. Minimum autonomy is also pretty bad, but again, not a huge thing. I might want to go and debase a bit once I decide that spending time is over. I probably don't even need to take Admin Tech 5. Miltech is still a bit away. I wouldn't obviously mind taking Miltech 6. Didn't I see the Moroccans already have Miltech 6? I hope I mistook that. No, they have Miltech 6. Fudge. As does Tunis. Wait, do I have 6? I have 6, never mind. <laughs> it's okay. I wouldn't mind taking Miltech 7. Wouldn't mind having a can and all that. But maybe... Maybe I'm just supposed to... Um, Debase a bit once we take the idea so I can afford a bunch of our boats. It's an option. Not that boats alone solve anything, but <laughs> they help. Uh, let me still improve here for um, potential fleet basing right sake. And I'm currently spying on the Scots. I'm highly unlikely to need that. Awfully wants to marry me again. I'm not particularly interested. No, thank you. What about these boats here? Fortunately, I don't get to see. These are light ships, right? Oh, these are my cogs. Never mind. I thought I had mothballed my light ships, but no, I had mothballed my three cogs. The more I think about it, the more I like the idea of um, using the base currency to build a fleet. How much do I get for debasing these days? Where's my button? 43 ducats. Okay, it's not bad. Uh, we'll also probably take some loans when we get close to the end. But we don't want to do that before necessarily. Minus five. Oof. How are you doing, monster? How old are you? 32. And I am 44. I accept it, but I don't know that I necessarily should have. Lost the leader. Uh, sure. Go ahead and reform yourselves. Catholics. Oh, come on. My leader dies. The moment I notice that I don't have a leader on here anymore, they spawn. So I have to fight them without a leader. Game. I mean, crushed them. But that's money again. Manpower. But mostly money we're losing here. That I don't necessarily want to lose. So I do not take admin tax, what I'm saying, right? Because what for? We're not going to build any buildings. I don't need this admin tech. I'd rather spend that on coring something. Or stabbing up or whatever. Uh, that means I really don't want to be focused on admin anymore, but we still are. Yeah, if I do this again, <laughs> and I mean, chances are that I might, uh, I might not ever focus on admin. We got the admin tech way earlier than we needed it. Comparatively to all the other things. I mean, obviously I would have liked to have gone off earlier, but uh, I didn't see that being a possibility, did we? Really like Tunis to go to war. Or Morocco. One of these to get into a position where I can start attacking somebody. Down there. That would be awesome. And I'm going to start debasing as soon as we do this. There we go. Bonus colonial range. We get that extra morale of armies from our ideas, which is huge. And now I'll debase and build some boats. I 
think. Yeah. We double check that we don't get anything other super negative. Minimal autonomy, not super interested. Spy detection, spy at work, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna hit that button. It's not a button I use much. But I'm kinda into it right now. Two of these will be enough for now. So we can build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cogs. It gets us to 11. We don't have more ports to build cogs in anyway. So eight is fine. But I would have preferred one more cog. Not that we have an army that big. What's our force limit? 11? Yeah, don't show me because I don't have the money. Uh, it is 14 actually. We might need that. We don't have a technological advantage. Morocco has only 13,000 troops right now and almost no manpower, so that's good. They're allied to Mali, who are probably powerful, relatively, for an African nation, but they're probably behind in technology and they'll probably take some time to get down here. But still, I wouldn't mind having the numbers. Actually, I would love having the numbers. Heck, no longer ahead of time in anything. So my innovativeness is dropping down, but that's whatever, right? Um, can I make claims? I think I already made some claims, so that's probably a no. Not a big reason to make claims in Scotland again, but take what you can get here, right? Making decent money now that I sold off that fort, I think that was a good idea. Should have done that way earlier. And by decent money, I mean more than a duck at a month. Woo. Whoop, whoop. Really out of places to build a boat in, right? I don't have another port. Oh, I do. Man. It'll be done a bit later. But I'll feel somewhat happier having 12 rather than 11 of those. Uh, Tyrone was taken by the English, and I now have a rival I can take, which is Scotland. And I'll do it. And I'll come home from the Scots. I don't know if I have a claim to make. I have one here, right here. Let's claim um, Shetland here. Come home. And embargo on the Scots. Oh, seven truce. Never mind. But having a rival should take my power protection. Uh, well, technically, but we're also taking down, so... We're not going to get it above 50 again. Shame. Another shame our friend Denmark is no longer great power. That's not hugely relevant, but a bit. But a bit. I still very much consider using um, fleet basing rights to declare our war. Or when we declare our war. Because I believe if I have... My troops in allies territory and I declare war or in somebody's territory who's not involved in the war and I declare war then it'll get black flagged. But I believe also that if I have my troops not in there and then enter their territory with military access after the declaration of war I will stay un black flagged. So my plan is to take my boats like to Anfa or Garb and uh, probably Garb, prepare military access and fleet basing rights and the day the Portuguese, uh, uh, I declare war, I land in Garb, so I don't have to deal with the Moroccan fleet. That's my thinking. Which requires the Portuguese to give me access, but they will. And that's groovy. My cocks are coming in. I have the technology. I don't have the advisor. But uh, we can always try an advisor shuffle if we get to a point where we don't actually have the calling range. I think it's fine to change advisors at war. I don't know why it wouldn't be. So I'd rather have some more money so I can increase my army size. So I guess I'll just pop another debase. I think I have two more debases in the can, right? Or oh, three more even. Let's do one more. One more? Yes. And go up to full 14. Now I won't have the boats to ship 14 people over. 
not sure how I'm going to deal with that issue. Because once we are at war, I probably can't beat the Moroccan Navy anymore, right? Hmm. Hmm. I very much doubt that I can call in the Danes. And we have the favors, but they're all about Granada? Why? Not that Granada is scary, but it's another... Uh. All right, all right. So are we happy sending 12 people? Or do I spend the time to build two more cogs? I feel like maybe I am. Yeah, so do one water base, two more cogs. And again, something I should have done slightly sooner, although we had been using all our ports, so we didn't waste too much time there. Uh, to base. And then... Find the fastest building places. Which Lothian is one? Oh, but you're building infantry, you don't need to. And the number of days is similar. Let's do it here and here. This is closest to where I want to leave from. And it's probably going to be similar, if not even faster. All my existing cogs into Ayrshire. Uh, anything like Queen, lose Navy Tradition, lose Prestige, gain Autonomy in Lothian. Ugh. I mean, not that I care about my Navy Tradition much. What's my agenda? Have 10 Prestige here. Yeah. Not that I'm close to that. Uh, let's lose the Navy Tradition. Can I grab land? No. People are peeved. Well, I mean, I can. They're just going to be super angry about it. Now, these about these Scottish rebels. Uh, did I actually crush them? We have no more unrest. Well, then. I guess uh, that's fine, then. Oh, we fought them. Duh. I already forgot that they popped on me when I didn't have a general. Right. We're going to need a general. But I should hire them as late as possible. So we're waiting for these two boats. And then we're going. Unless we see some sort of change in defenses down in Africa. In which case, we'll immediately go. Did I miscount? No, right? We're building one in man. Yeah. You have your two friends, Granada and Mali. You have your two friends, Tunis. Eclipse the Scots gave us a tiny leg up. Again, over power prediction. Give me some more power points. Monarch points. Which are not super relevant when you um, are not planning on spending any monarch points anymore. I'm not saying I'm not planning on spending any. Gain loyalty for what's probably free. Yeah, we're not going to do another reform. Except the demands for sure. And then I think once this thing builds, I'm gonna unmoth for all these boats. So I'm actually spending money now. Not the biggest fan. I don't need to pay that advice anymore, do I? Screw improved relations. Go home. I need the money. Merge y'all. Repair these boats that I had mothballed. Actually, it was a bit too late for that. Not that we need full-on repair state. I think that's acceptable not to have. Oh, we can spend all the admin on stabbing up after we declare an OCB war. That makes a lot of sense. Let's buy a general. Slightly increased thanks to corruption. Let's buy another general. Woof. Do we go one more? Let's go one more. That's at least four combat pips. Still not good, and no siege pips, which I hate. But at least, I mean, I love siege pips. I hate that it doesn't have any. Lose the dip, because I might want my prestige. It's weird as it is. Why do I want it? Because I get extra admin for it? Hmm. Maybe not the smartest of all moves. Merge you up. 
attach y'all there, and I think we're going. I think we're going straight to the Moroccan coast, or at least the Portuguese coast here, straight to Gibraltar, and prepare to land. And I will ask the Portuguese for access when we get close. Access is very expensive, so we don't want to keep that for too long. We also don't want to break our boats. I'm already there? What the heck? This was faster than I expected. Um, hey, Portugal. I need fleet basing rights. Oh, I also... I should have asked for both way earlier. Because we now need to wait a month. Dang it. Uh, wait that month. I should not be speeding up. Let's not do that. Let's not be daft. Military access. And then I will declare one Morocco, just no CB them. There's no Moroccan boats here, so we won't get attacked right away. These guys are going to the coast of Morocco, so we should be able to go away quickly enough. I lack a diplomat, of course, because my people are in Portugal. Gosh darn it, mistakes. My timings. Now, Ihan timing, declare war, no CB, war exhaustion plus two, stability effect. It's fine. And of course, free aggressive expansion. Get straight into Garb. Get accosted by the Moroccan boats this time. Which sucks, but apparently we're alive. Come on, just let me get into Garb. Thank you very much. That's all I wanted. <laughs> and now we immediately start hitting stuff. I think I'm gonna send one of our Highlander armies off to take that place just so we don't get stabbed in the back and then we start taking things here and I don't know that we can stop having fleet piecing raids to the Portuguese so money will be a problem uh, I should probably not be over relations limit what is the issue here military access in Portugal I need it country break I mean I can break my royal marriage to Turkano but I don't want to lose the stab for it Speaking of, let's stab up. And I guess I did just go up to plus two. I feel like we don't need the admin for anything else anymore. Might even consider going to plus three without reasoning. Take this. Um, I guess I'm immediately going to try to take this place. Before any... Anybody can try and uh, get me out of here. I could consider getting rid of my boats now. If I get rid of my boats now, uh, for one, I don't have to pay for fleet basing rights anymore. For another, I don't have to pay for the boats anymore. It's not like they're doing anything, are they? We're not beating the Moroccan Navy. Four heavies, never. Never are we beating any of these navies. It means we might not ever cross the Strait of Gibraltar, which is unfortunate. But... Maybe okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sell my boats. Sell would be great. If I could sell them to somebody, that would actually be awesome. Hey, Portugal, do you want 14 transports? <laughs> I have a few transports here that I don't need anymore. Watch, we need them. Oh, I can't sell ships while at war. Hmm. No, I could just crunch them. The re thing is, I really don't want to pay the... Uh, what are we paying? 1.7 ducats in harbor fees. Or... We repair and run. It costs us a tiny bit of... Um, So it costs me money because I'm paying for those free fleet raising rights. But more importantly, it costs me a tiny bit of well, more importantly, I don't know. It costs me a tiny bit of war score, potentially, because I'll have to Oh, got scared there for a moment. Um I'll have to flee from the naval battle. Which, for some reason, is considered um, 
Negative for the wars. Ooh, there comes the attack into Marrakesh in the mountains. 15 people. I mean, I guess this is our time, eh? Get you in there with all the maneuver you can. Battle is on the 15th of May. You arrive on the 9th, so you're going to be there way on time. What can we do to hurt harder, hurt more? I am going to click my last base, I assume, and grab a military advisor. Ah, there's none available. Not a useful one, that is. Mm, is there a combat bonus here? Doesn't seem as if there is. Military power, army tradition. Doesn't look as if there is. Ooh, I can also sell land at some point. That's actually a lot of money for selling land. It would bring us below the um, threshold, so we get strong negative effects. I forget what they are, but they're strong. So we might not want to do that, but it's still money we can get. I'm also going to run war taxes. Just going to look for money wherever I can right now. Not that that's going to fix my battle in the mountains in Marrakesh. But I don't see how I can do anything else about that. It's the 2nd of May too, so even if we fire our military advisors right now, we don't get to choose a new one. And we don't get the, the refresh, which might have combat focused ones. I'm going to refocus on mill here, just in case that matters. And I think we're just going to have to take this battle and pray. Now, since you are already arriving way on time, I'm going to move you over there. 10th of May, yes, yeah, still a lot of time. I want to have all the power I can here. Didn't think they would power up that quickly. And fighting that in the mountains is rough. Reinforcements came in. I mean, not that we had a lot of reinforcements, but maybe. <sighs> Huge losses for us. But we did win. And that not only gave us the win, but it also gave us the ability to have... Uh, I think it gives us some extra progress here on the siege. Now how do we follow this up? In theory I could buy mercenaries, right? Yeah, I could recruit mercenaries into Kala. Oops, sorry. Oh you don't at least you don't see that. Just see the sound. Um you don't see the sound, yes. Lose prestige. Oh, yes, I want the last jousting tournament for sure. 10% morale of armies. Where were you five seconds ago? I'm considering D base and mercenaries and consolidate. And I think that's right. Keep getting that corruption up. That's not why we're debasing. <laughs> um, and then I want, I guess the free company has to be good enough with their cost reduction, right? Yeah. Pretty big cost reduction. Um, my army professionalism is gonna drop like mad, but I don't have five, probably don't have any. I do have some, oh, I have six actually. So it's selecting recruitment standards now. Before we lose all the professionalism anyway, due to the hiring of mercenaries. There. And then I'll... I got six there. I'm gonna fully consolidate these. Which puts me down to eight. Plus the mercs. That's 14, right? That's our force limit. Did I just hire the mercs? I did, didn't I? I did, okay. 
I'm just not here yet and not eating my fossil just yet. Come on, Sitch. They're all meeting up there, which is a bit unfortunate. Really need to get rid of these boats. But if I just run it, I, I'm just gonna dispatch them. I mean, just get rid of them, sell them, destroy them. There, bam. And then I ask the Portuguese to no longer grant me fleet basing rights and save all that money. Okay. One big disadvantage of the Gibraltans, uh, the the um, Grenadans being in this war, is that uh, we can now never. We can never piece them out, because we can't cross the strait. Unless these guys are being... ...dumb. Which, to be fair, is possible. Okay, tech there. The morale recovery of these. Oh, is that the part of the free company thing? That I didn't read? Do they have a super slow morale recovery? Would that be on here? Pretty sure we would we were able to see their modifiers before. No, it doesn't say. Just say minus ten percent for reasons. Maybe that's the free company, but ten percent is still not. I mean, a huge change, is it? I'm gonna join in this battle just so we can maybe crush them. Oh, we can't crush them. We crush them, but not. Crush, crush. Just regular crush. Now, obviously, I want to go on draw, and I probably want to go and hit draw immediately, don't I? Start getting there. There's their backup coming in, so I have to be mindful that I don't lose my my people here. I don't have a subject to use to pay for my fort, unfortunately. And now I don't keep making these fort puns because I want to. They just happen. I don't know if I say unfortunately a lot, and then whenever I say it in the same sentence as fort, I feel... Um, well, I notice it. Or whether there is a... For some reason, I say unfortunately a lot when I'm talking about forts. <laughs> Is there something specifically unfortunate about forts? I don't know. So we take their capital. Ideally, we don't take another battle in Marrakesh, but it's mountains and we have the fort now. They have the numbers, though, and what numbers they have. Oof. And they're also sieging quite quickly. Do you have a cannon? No. You don't have cannon tech, so a cannon would have been surprising, but you never know. You can never have too much money, that's true. I don't know if seven point something ducats help. But I do like money. Get me the heat of dra though. Which access from the English, sure. What are these people? <laughs> Probably just want to stop saying Brits or not say Brits again. Um, let's stay here for the monthly tick so we get the loot. Just lost. I mean, I guess having high um, corruption gives you negative events too. And that's what's happening here. But, which is why. I assume that's why we just got the minus 10 naval tradition event there. Now the we got a disease outbreak. They got a water shortage. They're catching up in the siege speed. I really don't want to lose Marrakesh. But I also don't want to lose my siege progress. How do we deal with this? So how do we make our com and we just get did get that extra morale boost, didn't we? Maybe I should Consolidate my troops here and have one guy sit on Dra to keep the siege progress while the rest goes in and tries to throw out the Moroccans. We're going to be outnumbered. But we have a better general, slightly, and we have those bonuses. 
Maybe that's good enough. Really wish I could have a discipline or a morale advisor. Not that I have tons of money for that, but... For the Catholic faith. I mean, sure. You guys get there, and I think I will... Obviously, I'm... Leaving myself more outnumbered here. Again? Come on. Don't take it with 7%, don't you dare. I'm already willing to bring you battle. Not very willing, but willing, nonetheless. Merge. Select. Attach to first army. And then I think we got some sort of maneuver issue last time, right? So I'm gonna give you the... Oh, gonna need that guy anyway. Don't know why he wasn't in charge in the first place. And I'm gonna try this outnumbered battle and rely on my extra morale and the mountains to maybe handle this for me. They did try to run, which is sweet. Also, Scotland rivaled me, which is sweet, but I can't counter rival them while I'm at war. So it's probably not gonna matter. Yeah, crush him! Bam! That's what you get, Morocco. That's... it's very good. <laughs> Let's bring my free company mercenaries a day later. Wait, can I move you? Oh, you're attached. Send you to draw. Gonna have the rest of you try and keep up with these Moroccans. And you can, very good. <laughs> Technology cost reduction on our air. That is unlikely to matter, unfortunately. We're probably not gonna make it to Tetuan in time. I would love to stack wipe those guys, but they're gonna have recovered a lot of morale by then. Let's not do that. Let's rather quickly grab some land while these guys are out. There's the Siege of Dra. All right, capital down. Could we already be looking at a peace deal here? We have range on this place. We do not have range uh, on Dukala. So I think it's time to start firing advisors. It's gonna cost me money and I hate that, but we need a colonial range advisor. So I'm gonna spend money and just cycling these level one advisors. I'm gonna leave the level two one in there. Because we're not, I mean, yeah, sure, we can take Tet one and get somewhat of a foothold in Africa, and that's nice and all. But that's not good enough. We need more. Let's go to Haha. -ha. It's a funny place. Uh, let's not have everybody be in Haha, -ha, though. Well, I guess everybody will be in Haha -ha, then. Whatever. Grab all the money from Haha. -ha. Move out my mercs so we can grab money from elsewhere and not take attrition. There we go. And now it's just Tadla. And of course, Tetuan. And unfortunately, these people. Which we can't separate piece. And Mali, which we can't separate piece. Now, assuming that there's no Morocco in the south, it doesn't look like they've colonized this or anything. Um, oh, we're 38 minutes into. <clears throat> assuming there's no more Morocco than this, we should be able to if we stay in the war for five years take a hundred percent peace deal but I don't know that staying in the war for five years is what we're looking at for Portugal did war, declared war in Tunis that's gonna bring the Marrakesh in doesn't it uh, the Grenadans and it does and that is interesting in so far as now they are probably gonna be um, Occupied very soon, which will lead to them losing interest in being in the war. Also, we might be able to cross with the Portuguese Navy there. Might, being the operative word. But let's try to catch these guys while they're coming off the boat, going to Agadia, far. We might not make it, but I'm still going to crush them. 
Um, if I take 10 prestige, I get my mission done, which is nice, but we're already gaining a ton. Thanks to the last jousting, last jousting tournament. So I might ask Denmark for money instead. Because money is really what's... Yeah. Ask the Danes for money. Let's try to catch these guys while they're coming off their boat. And maybe see if we can cross the Strait of Gibraltar into... Um, well, Gibraltar. Jabal Tariq. Which would be awesome. But first, let's put a cut in here. Thank you for watching. If you like what you're seeing, as always, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. If you have anything to say, then that comment section would be a good place for it. Thank you for watching and see you folks next time.